Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn that how to split email addresses from a list. And uh, in this video, you will learn three different methods. So the first one is by a formula. The second is how to do the same scenario with flash fill. And the third one is with using the power query. So let's get started. I have already solved this situation with the help of a formula. So I will not go in much detail by the formula solution, but uh, primarily my focus is to give you a, a simple, easy and smart solution with the help of flash fill and power query, which is available in Excel. So let me explain you the data first. Uh, we have one column on the left side, which contains uh, email addresses with names. And uh, if you can see here, the names like uh, Salim Kanchwala and then space and then the email address of that person. Then again, we have uh, Zuhaib Javed and his email address. Then we have Raheem Zulfakar Ali and space and another email address. Now from the fourth record, the email address uh, is being changing by a pattern. Uh, you can see that the email address has been uh, enclosed in less than and greater than sign. Uh, and in the above example, there is no less than and greater than sign. But uh, now you can see there is a difference because each of the record contains names and emails, but some contains email enclosed with the less than and a greater than sign and some some of them does not contain that. So if we need to extract email addresses from this kind of a list where we have a name of a person uh, like uh, first name and middle name and last name and some persons have only the first name and last name. So it becomes very complicated and uh, let me show you the formula here. So you can see uh, the solution. I have used the trim, right, substitute, left, find function. Uh, and again and again with a combination of these similar functions to get my desired outcome. So if an Excel user comes with this approach, uh, they can solve this kind of a query. Uh, and but, but the user needs to think of this particular formula and it's a bit time consuming uh, and it takes a longer duration and sometimes user needs to go to Google or any other uh, resource to find the, that solution because uh, we we don't we exactly don't remember uh, very exactly that how to solve Excel problem until unless we are very used to it right and again if I show you the solution or those email addresses which are with the less than and greater than sign so in this particular solution you can see that I have used the mid find function uh, again with a logic that the find function is identifying the less than and greater than position and then from that particular position the mid function is trying to fetch the email address so these things becomes very complicated and time consuming when the user apply formula it's not a, a wrong approach it's it's absolutely right approach but now as a modern excel user we have different available features in Excel. Uh, so might be which takes uh, less time and very efficient in providing you the similar kind of results, which you are trying to uh, fetch from the complex formulas, right? So let's do the same thing uh, with the help of flash fill. So here we have again the same data, uh, the name of a person's and email addresses. So let's uh, type the first email address manually that is Salim dot Kanchwala at gmail.com and I will press enter key. Now I will select this email which I have just typed and selecting these blank cells or this range where I need to extract the other email addresses. I will go to the data tab and here you can see a flash fill option available here. Okay. So I will click on flash fill. Now as soon as I click on flash fill, uh, the first email already being extracted the second email address of zohaib.javid at yahoo.com exactly the, the, uh, the correct thing. But now you can see that uh, Hamad big email address with a big last name is coming again. It's not correct uh, giving the correct results, right? So what I can do is I have already applied the flash fill. I will go to the fourth option or the fourth record and here or you can say you can go to third record and I will correct this record manually. For example, Raheem dot Zulfikar Ali 
at gmail.com and now see that when as soon as I press the enter key now all the records are coming correctly I just need to correct one more record amma.big now what at gmail.com and as soon as I press the enter key now you can see that flash fill with their intelligence uh, giving me exactly the correct all the email addresses are extracting very correctly from this list right and uh, as you can see here what we have tried to do with the help of formulas would take a lot of time to think and to implement whereas the flash fill with one or two corrections gives entire column uh, correct email addresses with very less time and with accuracy right so the flash fill is available uh, and also let's suppose you need to extract the names of all those persons so some of the names contains two words some of the names contain three words so if if I write the first name which is Salim Kanchwala and I will select the entire column and I will click on flash fill now you can see that all the names are coming but some of the names are not coming properly for example the third name is Raheem Zulfiqar Ali which has three words so if I correct this manually Raheem Zulfiqar Ali and as soon as I press the enter key now you can see that Hamad Ahmed Beg is now coming correctly and all the other names are cor coming correctly now you can imagine that if you want to do this kind of a thing with the help of a formula uh, you need to make a very complex combination of uh, mid, find, left or any other combination of formulas which takes a lot of time but with the help of flash fill it's very easy to extract those uh, information which is required by the user so now after the flash fill uh, we can also use the power query now for the power query I have selected this column and I have already made this uh, column as a table format okay now I will go to the data tab and I will click on from table or range which will open a new window for the power query and we will do all the transformations there okay so this is the power query editor and uh, what we are trying to do is we need to extract the email addresses and we also want to extract the names right so what I will do is I will select this column right click and uh, in this contextual menu I will go to split column by delimiter and the delimiter is basically a space and I will select rightmost delimiter so the space which is available on the very right side of each of the record uh, will get splitted by this logic so all the email addresses have been uh, separated all the names are already there so I will rename this column as names and uh, I will rename this columns as emails now what I need to do is I need to bring the same pattern for all the email addresses so I want to just remove the uh, less than and greater than sign so what I can do is I will go to transform and I will say replace values so value to find less than value width will remain blank okay and again replace values greater than sign replace width will remain the blank that's it and after the transformation all the transformation uh, you have to go to home tab and click on close and load the best part of power query is that it is being automated so next time whenever your data contains a new record you just need to click refresh so now you can see that in just few seconds we were able to extract the names and the email addresses very very correctly so you can imagine that if you are um, using a formula it takes a lot of time in corrections and implementation whereas power query uh, gives the output in very less time and for example if I add a one new record for example Excel basement and uh, I will write email which is Excel basement at gmail.com okay so this record is being added in this table and I will go to my output sheet and in the data tab I will just click refresh so as soon as I click refresh you can see that uh, the data has been appended and the new record has been transformed and cleaned and according to the user result so this is how I suggest that instead of going for very complex formulas which is also correct but you can do the same thing with flash fill or you can do the same thing with power query to make your data 
transform automated and in very less time so i hope you like this video please do share it thank you